Well, I guess it's that time again, isn't it? Um, so, uh, I guess most people will probably be aware by now, but, uh, it is E3 week this week, uh, which means I might be cutting the stream a little short tonight, uh, just because, uh, I think the Bethesda conference is at about, um, 8.30 tonight? So I'm probably going to be uh, stopping the stream right about then, because I would like to see either how great or how awful that presentation is going to be. Let's find out together, yeah? Or, well, not together. I'm not exactly going to be streaming my reactions to that or anything. That's that's not really my uh, cup of tea, especially without a uh, face cam or anything. Webcam, face cam, I don't know, man. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back. Uh, it is nice to have all of you here again with me. So, I guess the uh, objective right now is just to get this lab back up and running. So, let's, uh, oh shoot, how do we do that again? That's right, the, the blue fire Oh yeah, the, the diary that I am basically completely ignoring. I'll get to that later. Okay, so that, that blue fire down there, that's what we need uh, to power up the lab again. Also, we shouldn't be reading other people's diaries, right? That's a bad, is that a bad? I think that's a bad. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Also, there's a bunch of lanterns up here, too, that we can ignite with the blue fire. I don't know if doing that, if, like, going out of your way to get all of them actually benefits anything or not. Uh. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I've done that. I just don't know if there's any, like, specific point to it. But, yeah, if you're using a torch, um then the uh, fire should never, like, extinguish. You don't have to worry about it going out. Look, I, I try to be moral in video games sometimes. Uh, like, I, I feel bad when characters get mad at me. It's why, uh... Uh... Oh, wait, what did I do? Okay, see, that's the thing. I can't sprint while I'm holding this, because if I sprint, I just put the torch away. So we gotta do this nice and slow, like, which means we also can't climb anything, but that's okay. I think we can get away without doing any of that. Oh, there's another shrine over there, and another shrine over there. Yeah. Plus, I think I got, uh, five shrines last time, so I might not need to, uh, get a whole four shrines in this go-around. Although, if we're Sticking with that quota, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we might as well just go ahead and see if we can just get four this session. Um, let's not make exceptions here, yeah? Yeah, I know, I'm, very, I'm feeling very Olympic runner, except for the fact that, again, I can't run. I'm the Olympic jogger. Is there Olympic jogging? Is that a thing? Somebody look that up. Is is Olympic jogging a uh, an event that exists out there? If it is, I want to know about it. And also what that would look like. Dude, I don't know why we have the Olympics to begin with. I think it's boring, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there might not need to be a reason uh, to have jogging when we already have running and stuff. Power walking, there we go. Sweet. Also, with this, uh, with this activated, we can also um, teleport here. 
Although, I, I think I've said it before, but I would like to do as little teleporting in this game as possible. Uh, red, red what? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Wait, what? No, okay, first of all, I tried to ignore everything. You can't, you can't do this to me. You little brat, I should drop kick you to the moon. And then go up to the moon, find you, and drop kick you back down to the earth. So do I just have to walk up to this? Is that is that all there is to it? Uh, snap. What what are you talking about? Oh, you you want me to do your catchphrase? I guess. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and Apple Missing File. Yep. Fix my iPad by dripping water on it. Yeah, I kind of went into that in the last stream. I don't like the the whole thing of like, oh, it's like a century century old woman and and I uh, give her the body of a child. Um, in this game, it's not so bad, but in a lot of other series, they, they they try to do stuff with that that I'm just not a fan of. <clears throat> Fire Emblem. Now I like me some Fire Emblem. I just don't like that. Yep. So, all of this should be... Good to go now. Yeah, uh, that that has some implications as well. The whole like Android 18 thing. I'm just like, oh my god. Uh, one moment. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, pose. Do the thing. Do the thing. Say the line, Bart. Wow. That's our one. Here. <laughs> Look at it. Wow. I would have loved it if uh, her only response was, That me. So this is where the lost memory stuff comes into play. So there's a bunch of pictures already saved onto the Sheikah Slate. These are pictures that were taken, uh, presumably, by Princess Zelda. Now, since I was accompanying her whenever she took these, um, then uh, going to these specific locations should help uh, get my memories back. And since I've done this before, I know where a lot of these where a lot of these are, but Yeah, I don't care for that nickname. Linky is a weird nickname. I'm not I'm not about that. Alright, Burger Queen. Uh what was the next step? Oh, I don't care about him. Let's see. Um Black Mementos. Let's see. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. So we gotta go talk to Impa again. We might as well try to get some uh, side questy stuff done along the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright, you and I need to have a serious conversation about turning and how it works. 
Yeah, I don't know if I need to bother with lighting all the uh, lanterns, because I don't know if it actually does anything for you. I mean, I'm sure it looks cool, but... Man, I really do just love this town, though. It's got such nice music, it's set up so well. Um, and it's great just seeing things like uh, like the kids running around and, and stuff like that uh, during the daytime. Adds a lot of life to it. It's good stuff. I'm here for it. Alright, let's take a pit stop here. Also, I noticed that in... Oh, look, another uh, shooting star. I don't know if it's worth it to go after that right now, to be honest. But yeah, uh, I noticed in the last session, I think I called Burger Queen Epona a few times. Uh, old habits die hard, I guess. Even though uh, Burger Queen looks exactly nothing like Epona. Alright, which one was... Oh, 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 I remember this one. Alright. You know what? We're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat with this. Alright? That's the point of shrines, is to uh, find... Find creative ways to cheat the system. By turning the entire puzzle upside down. Wait. Yes! did it. Perfect. That's exactly how you're supposed to solve that puzzle. I'm so smart. I know how to mazes. Give me my spirit orb, boy. Already at 10 spirit orbs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I probably want to go ahead and activate that one tower too. Since we're going back to Kakariko anyway. And it is kind of along the way. It wouldn't hurt. I guess I should probably ask you guys though. How do you feel about um, the whole... Uh, no teleporting thing. Should we teleport uh, when we're able, or uh, is it more adventurous to try to travel along from place to place the vanilla way? See what adventures uh, we run into doing that. I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, I guess for the time being, I'll just try to travel everywhere. Don't look at me like that. But yeah, I mean, the, that tower is, like, right there. We might as well go ahead and get it. Hark. I hear people in danger. I... Did I just jump off Burger Queen to immediately land back on top of her? Nice. There we go. Hmm. It's morbid as it sounds. I'm a little disappointed NPCs can't just die out here when they're getting attacked by monsters. They just get dizzy and hit the ground. Y'all looking for your stupid truffles? It's nothing but truffle. Tr trouble. Oh, um... Hey, what's up? Oh, I do love this, that there are just people that wander around Hyrule that you can just talk to. It's nice. Hey, what do you want? You want a hand? 
Oh, shoot. Wait. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. What propels them upwards like that? Like, what force has them going up into the air in such a festive manner? Can you kill critters like that? I don't know. This ain't Shadow of the Colossus. You know what? I, I want Burger Queen back. Otherwise, it's gonna take forever. Did you just run yourself into a wall? Burger Queen is the smartest horse. I say as I struggle to get back on her back. Man, I wish there were, like, stamina potions that you could make for the horse. You know, something you could feed the horse to power her up, uh, make her run better. It's gonna be a long shot. One that did not pay off. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I made that. Smart horse, dumb owner. All right, first of all, that is entirely accurate. Second of all, I don't appreciate that, though. Uh... <laughs> all right. Oh, shoot. I thought that killed you. Um... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, stop. Stop that. Stop that. This is the way you want to play it. Alright. I'm game. <laughs> Alright, come here. Ah. Oh, that didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Do they even have any more TNT barrels over there? Oh, uh, there's one on top of here. I think I heard him. from that moblin I took out. Let's switch this up real quick. Insta-death. I can't do anything with this. Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, God. That was almost really, really stupid. Okay, I mean, it was already pretty stupid. I, I just mean, there were almost horrible consequences to my stupidity. Want this, want that. <laughs> I didn't know you could just uh, make clips of the stream. That's cool. I appreciate that. I'll have to save that and post it to... Twitter or something later. So I'm not sure if anybody here has already seen the uh, Microsoft press conference. I was at work uh, during it. I actually like just got home from work when I started the stream. Um, uh, but I got I got to see uh, bits of it. Uh, and honestly, I liked what I saw. I think Microsoft had a pretty good conference. Uh, they showed off some some fun things. Uh, I'm definitely, I, I don't want to talk too much about it, uh, just for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, so. But yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the Bethesda stream, like I said. Alright, I can't, I, nah, I'm not doing the Pro Jared thing. I think the less I take after pro jared the better to be perfectly honest um that and uh i've just got other things that i'm trying to prioritize prioritize my time towards right now um and i've been having a hard time even dedicating to that 
so I don't I don't think I'm the man for that job. Man, you do not like death. Good, get out of here. Think about what you did, which was die. Wait, I needed that. Those are guts. That's not what I need. Okay. Uh, inventory. I should still have some flint. Oh wait, I gotta. All right, cool. Nice. All right, now that we have that ignited. Let's uh let's try to start some fires. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did the game just lag out for a second there? I feel like I just got stuck in the air for a, for a moment. Was dumb. That was very dumb. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Ah, there we go. Roadblock. All right. Doing real good. I feel like such a smart boy when I play Breath of the Wild. I feel really stupid though. Wait, 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 stupid. Stupid and dumb. <laughs> I need my fire back. Oh, don't tell me it went out. How did it go out? I don't have any more flint either. Well, shoot. Hmm. I don't have any fire arrows either. I'm not sure bombs do the trick since uh, these ones don't really seem to actually be like fire explosion. I can try though, I never really attempted it. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, I think the Sheikah bombs are just like kinetic force, not necessarily fire. Rope bombs. You need it. It's yours, my friend, but only if you have the rubies. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to make it up this that's is that why is that why it uh why the fire dissipated over there? Was it the rain? Is it the sky crying? You want it, it's yours. Whatever. I'm sorry, I apologize for not expertly knowing all the uh iconic phrases from the Zelda CGI games. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that. No, I don't want that. Uh, the sky is sweating. That's what rain is. No, I do, I do not like that at all. That is a, that is a bad thought in my mind that I don't like. Down. Yeah, no, I might, I might be screwed here. I need more fire. Oh, no, wait. I could make it up there. Well, I could have made it up there. <laughs> hey, give me, give me, give me. 
Oh, alright. So we can make our way back up again. So here's the thing. Sheikah Towers. Uh, so we established ladders, right? Ladders. Going up ladders does not take stamina. In fact, you can actually regain stamina while you're climbing up ladders. What is the difference between the way the walls of the Sheikah Towers are made and ladders that makes it so that I can't... Or that I do lose stamina climbing up a, a Sheikah Tower, whereas I would not do so climbing up a ladder. That doesn't make sense to me. And I am calling various levels of shenanigans. I hate. I hate everything. Oh my god. How much of this stream is just going to be wasted climbing up this one stupid tower? Because I ran out of fire to burn things with. Nobody answer that, please. All right, almost there. Got it. Yeah, me too, buddy. Hmm, not sure if that was my best move. Ugh. But hey, almost 30 minutes in and we have not died yet. This is good. This is good, we're improving. And I still only have four hearts. I need to find a goddess statue so I can get more health. First things first, though. Getting this stupid tower activated. There's Burger Queen just hanging out. The star of the show. The real star. Alright. And if I remember correctly, uh, there's a spot over on the side here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think if I get over to this platform and then climb up that way. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright. We're almost there. I hate this tower. I hate it. I feel like I've made this so much harder on myself than I really needed to. Like, I'm. It's taken me almost as long to get up this tower than it was to get up the one where I had to go through an entire base to, to climb up it. What do you mean? I like the, the little animation when he recovers all the stamina because he's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm all good. I'm better now. You know, at least that's a nice little reward for uh, making it all the way up here. I do love that uh, that animation. I I've probably said that already, uh, like three. I've probably said that every time we've activated a tower in this game so far. Oh well, no. I mean, he's not doing it for anybody. I mean, you ever just have a moment when you just do something for yourself? You're just like, yeah, self-motivating. It's not for anybody. It's just for Link. Alright, so... Let's see here. Kakariko is that way. Oh, wait. We probably should have taken Burger Queen. Well, you know, in a in a truly realistic world, I'm sure the rain would hamper the effects of the paraglider at least a tad, but I don't know if, to what extent. Also, if memory serves me well, we have a friend over here. Shall we say hello? I think we should. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, there it is. Oh, good. You'll be easy. At least your thing is, like, on top of your head.
Oh, jeez, man. This guy's weak. That was fast. Well, I sure took him right out, didn't we? Mm, that went much better than the first stone talus we fought. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just one, like, fell swoop, and we took that guy out. I don't think Burger Queen's gonna be able to... Boy, it... well, it didn't say she wasn't gonna be able to make it over here. Maybe she can. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm not sure why the delay the first time around. Maybe she hit a tree and she was just like, you know what? Not worth it. And just decided not to come. You know what? Fair enough, Burger Queen. In all honesty, I don't blame you. You do you, sister. Ooh. Uh, let's do, uh... Uh, that's not correct. <laughs> Let's do a Korok puzzle real quick. Pulls out bomb. Let's kill a Korok. On this episode of Wayne Plays Breath of the Wild. Oh, I'm sure Burger Queen heard me. I absolutely... It didn't say Burger Queen couldn't hear you. It said Burger Queen couldn't come. There's a difference. Burger Queen made a decision. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the only thing that's getting me is the delay there. Usually it's like instantaneous. That they tell you no. Oh wait, this isn't where I want to go. This is a dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Step go. Trail Mix Blazer, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, buddy. It has been, it's been a while. It's been too long. And did anybody else see that just now? That guy just kind of like pushing his, pushing his donkey along by its butt. Man, this is definitely one of my favorite locales in in the game. It's a simple place, but uh, I'm a sucker for stuff like you know the ruins and and everything like that. You know, it makes me wish that there were more ruins and stuff to explore throughout the game. And like, I really do mean explore, like make make a temple out of the ruins. But the, uh, the format of the shrines does kind of take away from that ability. So I'm hoping in the next one, uh, we can get more of that sort of thing, you know? Let's get rid of our weak weapons first. Ooh, we can get so many ancient parts. Just from all these downed guardians. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that though. Because honestly, it's gonna be a while before we can even do anything with the ancient parts. It'll be worth it in the long run. Oh, believe me, it will be worth it. But, again, in the long run, it's gonna be. Eh, it's gonna be some time before we can really get that far. Dude, you can you can sheet the club like that if you if you really believe in yourself. If you uh if you don't think you can do it, you're just not believing hard enough. That's all there is to it. If you if you're saying it's impossible, that's quitter talk.
This is a this is a very nice looking game though. Really captures just the the spirit of open world exploration in a way that only Zelda could do, and I I appreciate that. I've heard a lot of people say that this game isn't very Zelda. I would argue that Zelda kind of lost its way after a while. Skyward Sword being like the monument to that mentality, um, and. Uh, Breath of the Wild was really getting back to its roots and just getting back into the spirit that, you know, that this franchise started out with. And I don't mean to hate on Skyward Sword too much. It's a fine game. Uh, I, I like Skyward Sword. I could never say that I love Skyward Sword, though. There's just too much wrong with it. I wanted to like it too. I think everybody wanted to like it. I was excited for it. Um, and I mean, there's some good stuff that came out of it. I mean, Groos, I think it was probably one of the more memorable, like, side characters Zelda's made that was actually, like, important to the plot. Um, uh, the music was good. There were some really fun ideas, like the, uh, the time stones, uh, and when you're in, like, the, the desert sea and stuff like that. Like, there was, a, a time shift stones, that's what they were called. Um, like, there were, there was a merit to Skyward Sword, just not enough. And it, it was just so formulaic and, and straightforward, which was the complete opposite of what Zelda was supposed to be when it was first created on the NES. You know, it was supposed to be something that was going against the grain of what they started with uh, Super Mario Brothers. And, uh... At a point, you know, everybody just fell so in love with Ocarina of Time and that structure that that's all that anybody ever wanted was uh, Ocarina of Time over and over and over again. Skyward Sword was the inevitable result of that mentality of just not letting Zelda branch out and try new things. Um, and just sticking to one specific way of doing it. I didn't know that there were two of these guys. One at each entrance. Huh. Oh, that's the thing. Uh, what were we doing here? Oh, right, Impa. Yeah, that's right. I like this town, too. Dude, the towns in uh, Breath of the Wild are so nice. I love them. Oh, right. Uh... I sacrificed this apple. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that, that's how I feel about Skyward Sword. Um, it's like, uh, and I know that there's some friends, uh, I think I, Isaac specifically, that just love Skyward Sword and that's like their favorite Zelda game, to which I would say, I'm not sure you're really a fan of Zelda as a series. Uh, it's not necessarily the mentality of, um, Oh, you don't like the uh, quintessential Zelda game, so you're not a real Zelda fan. That's not exactly what I mean. It's just that um, when it comes down to it, the you know the mentalities and the structure that really make up what the Legend of Zelda is as a franchise that differentiates it from anything else. Those are obviously not things that uh, you know that he uh, looks for or, or that he. Uh, values the same way that, you know, other Zelda fans would. So, it's not supposed to be like a, you know, I'm a better fan than you sort of thing. It's just that, like, some Zelda games are better than others. I thought she was supposed to give you the, uh, tunic. Oh, that's right. I think, uh, we have to go claim a memory before... Before uh, we get that, yeah, 
Yeah, that's how that works. Well, before we go do any of that crap, let's, uh, let's get some heart containers. Isaac's a great guy. I love Isaac, but I don't always agree with him. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um. Mm. I just brought him up because uh, I knew he was a big fan of Skyward Sword and we were already talking about Skyward Sword. You know what else I disagree with him on? The uh, English theme song to Inazuma 11. It, I know he loves it. It grates on my last nerve. I tried to like it. I really did. But it is not for me. <laughs> oh, man. It's so weird just opening doors and, like, going into places. In a Zelda game, I'm used to, uh, you know, you knock on the door, you walk in, and then there's a, a loading screen as he uh, pops up in there. It's just cool being able to just walk in seamlessly. I love that. It's one of those little touches that seems so, like, obvious, but, um... I just can't help but appreciate. There we go. Alright, let's, let's not get into any uh, personal debacles. Uh, here in this comment section, yeah. Uh, I'd rather avoid any drama. Ah, uh, dang. So, Nintendo's E3 Direct. I don't have a lot of expectations. Um, I want to see some Animal Crossing. Definitely want to see Animal Crossing, because I love Animal Crossing. Um, the... Other than that, uh, I guess just a new character in Smash Brothers, um, which, I mean, I'm just kind of up for anything at this point. There's really only, like, two characters out there I really care about getting into Smash at this point, and that's Banjo-Kazooie, um, oh, cool, do you see that? I saw that. Um, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, or Banjo and Kazooie, I should say. <laughs> Uh, so that's, like, as as one, like, inclusion in Smash. And then the other character I really want in Smash would be Klonoa, but I know that will not happen. It can't happen. It, it wouldn't happen. Uh, doesn't mean I don't want it. Um. Okay, we're, we're gonna go get that. It's time. It is time to go claim us a, uh, shooting star, yeah? I remember, uh, I don't know why I just thought of this, but, um, I think there was a Star Trek, it, it was a Star Trek Discovery, that's what it was, it's that newer Star Trek show that's on, on it, the, like, streaming service that I don't care about that nobody has, um, and, uh, there was an episode, it, so this is, this is my thing, right? So, Star Trek was always a, a series that prided itself on basing fiction off of scientific fact. Like, uh, Leonard Nimoy was always talking about, like, yeah, we actually compare, like, all this stuff with scientists ar around the world um, to try to get to as accurate a place as we can with this fantasy setting. Uh, and I always admired that. I always thought that was such a fun thing about the series. Uh... And then, so, in this uh, episode of Star Trek Discovery, mind you, these people are out in space, and they, they look out the window of, of the starship, and they see a shooting star. And it's, like, this big thing in the episode, and they're just like, yeah, shooting stars are cool. And then, uh, all of the rest of us who know basic astrology are just like, that can't happen in space. Shooting stars are just, like, fragments of rock and debris like burning up in our atmosphere you can't see a shooting star in space that's not how that works
Astronomy, astrology, whatever. I'm pretty sure astrology is a thing. Get off my back. Um... Oh, I am, uh... Oh, is that what that is? Oh, okay, cool. But, uh, yeah, so I am not expecting to see Metroid Prime 4. I would love to see Metroid Prime 4 from E3 this year. But, um, considering that they had to, uh, halt production and start over, um, I think it would be really shocking if they had enough to actually show off at E3 this year. No, obviously, I would love to see it. Um, am I... It's one of those things where, like, oh, yeah, sure, I hope to see it, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, kind of, like, every year, I will always hope to see something Klonoa-related, even though I know that franchise is probably dead forever. Um... Even if all they show of Metroid Prime 4 is just, like, a quick snip bit of, like, uh, Samus. Like, show me what Samus is gonna look like in the game. That will be good enough for me. Or show a Silex, you know? Uh, you don't have to show me much. Uh, just get me pumped up for the next Metroid game. That's all I ask for. I was actually just thinking about this. Um, because they've been talking for a bit about the next Zelda game. I don't think it's super likely, but it might be possible that we'll see something about the next Zelda title uh, at E3 this year. Uh, again, not likely, but um, it's hard to say how far along they actually are in developing that right now. Um, so, who knows? Uh, I know Nintendo likes to play things close to the chest until they have a lot to show. Um... Oh boy. Nope, you can't see me. Where'd that star fragment go? It was over here somewhere. Because that beam of light that shoots into the sky just kind of disappears uh, once you get close enough to where it landed. Oh, jeez, no, go away. Guardians over here. I don't know what happened to it. It probably stopped existing. Oh well. Yeah, they do despawn after a while. I just thought it was a longer period of time than that. That's I. I ain't gonna lose any sleep over it. No, 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 no. The uh, Nintendo Direct is uh, Tuesday, I think. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Dude, Scalebound would be cool. Yeah. I mean, they already rescued Bayonetta. Oh, that's something I would like to see. Uh, Bayonetta 3. I'd like to see a little bit more about Bayonetta 3. Um, that's, uh, honestly, I've been so out of the loop on stuff lately that I don't even know, like, what's in production anymore. Um... Oh. So, uh, but yeah, I don't have any specific expectations or desires, um, wow. you know, other wow. than Klonoa, but, uh, Yay. we'll see what happens. You know, honestly, before today, I had a hard time believing, like, E3 was even happening. Um, because it just sort of, like, came up. I'm a little sad that we won't be seeing anything from Sony this year. Uh, I think Square is going to be showing off some stuff tomorrow? Tomorrow, was it? Or was it also Tuesday? No, it's tomorrow night, that's right. Hey, Hestu, what's up? <laughs> Yes, expand my inventory of weaponry. Also, it is 
officially illegal to skip the cutscene of Hestu dancing. Uh, you know what? Let's expand the bow stash a little bit. You're seeing grace and beauty at work. That's what you're looking at. And shields. Let's get that uh, looking a little bigger too. Yes. Oh my god. No, oh, it's. So glorious. Uh, I think also shields again. Also, there's an interaction with Hestu, and I, uh, I completely forgot about it before, but it's like one of my favorite things in this game. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make that happen real quick. Um, first, we're going to take away the hood, then we're going to take away the shirt, then we're going to take away the pants. And just for, uh, just to really make it official. There we go. No clothes whatsoever. Wait, what? Oh, it didn't, it didn't do the thing. Maybe it only happens in Korok Forest. Ah, I skipped the thing. That's alright. I mean, on, it's only illegal if we're only getting stuff like once or twice. I think if we're gonna be, like, just spamming him with Korok seeds and uh, getting a bunch of stuff. Um. At what? Yes, is it? Oh, that's what you're on about. All right. Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, I think it only happens in Korok Forest. Oh, well, disappointing. That's right. We'll do it again later. Um, now that that's done, uh, actually, wasn't there a shrine over here? Yes, there was! <laughs> Stop! You violated the law! You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Watch Hestu dance. Uh, oh, this one isn't too bad. This one's pretty easy. It's one of those ones that, uh, like, takes a couple minutes, but it's, um, it's not terribly complicated. Thank you. Also, did you guys see that there was a Blair Witch game being made? Of all things, uh, I mean, sure, fine, I uh, go for it. Um, I just don't completely understand, you know, why. But then again, I was never really in love with the whole concept behind, like, the Blair Witch stuff, uh, as a lot of other people were. I'm pretty sure it's a mythology that actually exists. Um, like, I'm, I'm... I don't think it was just the movie that made it a thing, but the movie is definitely what made it popular. Um, I never cared for the movie. I thought it was boring. Uh, but it's each their own. Um, I won't criticize people for liking something I didn't, you know? Bonk. All right. Uh, 
see if I remember how to do this correctly. Sad has two noises. No, don't do that. Don't do that to me. I can't handle a sad has to. Yeah, that's uh, my coworker John and I were, were watching it and we saw the camcorder and we were making all these jokes about um, like what it was supposed to be and we just kept getting like more and more off the rails. Like we were like, oh, what is this? Like a new Silent Hill game? Oh no, there's a camcorder. It's probably Outlast. Um, until we just started ranting at naming off, like, really stupid stuff. Like, I think at, at one point I was like, Oh, it's Die Katana too. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. <laughs> oh yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3. I still need to play the Luigi's Mansion games. I think I borrowed, uh, the first one from you, Trail, at one point, and I just didn't get very far into it. Not sure it's quite my cup of tea. It's sort of like Pikmin to me. I, I didn't care much for Pikmin either. Um, eh, it's, it's not that there was anything wrong with it. It's just not my kind of game. Pikmin is one that I would like to try again, though, because I think it might have just been the mood I was in at the time. So I'm probably gonna pick up a like the Wii versions of Pikmin. I've heard that those uh, with the updated controls, uh, the game is actually like even more fun to play. And uh, you know what? I, I'll, I'll probably give them a shot sometime. All right, and actually, I think I saw another shrine over yonder when we were trying to find that. Star Fragment. Yeah, honestly, Trail, I think if there's anybody that's like the, the crowned king of not finishing games, might be you, buddy. <laughs> not to make that sound like a harsh thing. Like, honestly, I understand that, though. There's so many games out there now, and uh, that's like the constant struggle of just like, there's so many things I want to try and play and watch and stuff like that. Um, I just don't have the time for them. It, you know, as much as I would like to expand my horizons and and experience all of the stuff that people love, it, it's just not quite that easy. Uh, you know what? There's only so many hours in the day, and I can only dedicate so much of it to certain things. So, saved your life. Oh, jeez. I'm so hungry, I can eat an Octorok. There. There's our third shrine, right over there. I wonder if uh, a shattering bow has the same effect as like a shattering melee weapon where it adds to the amount of damage that you deal. I'm not sure if that would make a whole lot of sense, though, you know? I mean, maybe. I'm not about to crack open the code of the game to find out, but... I'm sure somebody out there knows. Oh, is this the one I'm thinking, <laughs> Keiko? <laughs> oh, yeah, I love this one. This one's great. So, look at this. The shrine just kind of hanging out. Oh, look. There's another one right over there. Um, shrine just sort of hanging out here. Huh? <laughs> but if we walk over the flowers, this lady, this lady gets super pissed at us. Huh? I planted flowers around the shrine. Please be careful where you step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? No, but I want to hurt you. No. Um... So, but if you, if you step on them too much, I, is this like Poison Ivy? Like the Batman villain, Poison Ivy? She's talking about them like screaming out in pain and stuff. Um, I want to see how, how long does it take before she gets super mad? Uh, 
Oh, she's getting there. She's getting there. Believe me, she's getting there. What you gonna do about it, lady? Oh, jeez, I forgot how creepy this was. <laughs> you told me three times, lady. Well, I apparently understand math more than you do, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Working in retail be like. I wanted so bad for this just to turn into a crazy boss fight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's the best. I think she. Yeah, she knocks you down. Like. Three hearts, it's great. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll leave your flowers alone now. I'll be more careful. Let's see. Hey, this isn't a really complicated maze or anything. It's not a difficult puzzle to get through or anything like that, but that interaction is worth it. I love that so much. It's the little things, you know? The little things that Zelda's just good at. Ah, this was sort of a stupid... There we go. Yeah. Because you don't, you don't want to graze the flowers too much. She'll... Because uh, she'll know. Oh boy, will she know. I think she actually communicates with the flowers on some sort of, like, psychological level. Psychic level, whatever. Maybe she is Poison Ivy. Drifting. So I think the idea is that you're supposed to, like, jump onto these uh, pieces of driftwood to get across uh, the water in each area. I mean, you could do that. Alternatively, you could be a stupid cheater like me. Puzzle solved. I'm so smart. <laughs> I wonder, does that stop the- it does! <laughs> it just stops the, uh, the driftwood. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Is- can I- Yes. Come to me. What treasures do you hold? Ah, thank you. Um. Uh, do the bombs float? I forget. They do. They do float. You'll float too. I'm actually like really excited for the new It movie. I, I liked the the first one of the remakes quite a lot. Um, it's a it's a decent uh it's a decent flick. Um, too many jump scares for my liking. Um, like it really relied more on startling you than uh, you know actually scaring you. Which I thought was a shame because there were some sequences that were legitimately frightening um, Or at least could have been had they not been undercut by just like, you know uh, Orchestral jump scare uh, Sudden loud noises everything like that. I know, you know horror movies aren't everybody's cup of tea, but I, I liked it quite a bit and uh, the interaction between the the kids was definitely the best part of the movie uh, 
they made good characters. Characters that you liked and that you wanted to see succeed, and that, that was the most important part. So yeah, I think we just gotta get one more shrine before we hit our quota. Like, I know we already have four spirit orbs, but I did say that we should hit four shri- uh, We should get four spirit orbs every session, and I've only actually gotten three in this one. One of them was just a carryover from an extra shrine that I completed. Um, in the last session. Look, you're gonna go th to all that trouble to make this place look nice, and then you're just gonna leave your your farming tools sticking out of the ground. Huh. <laughs> Amateur. What do you think this is? Alright, and where was that shrine? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. That killed the thing? That's... that did it. Alright. Dude, we haven't died once this session. It's been over an hour. I mean, I don't mean to jinx it, but, <laughs> like, considering, uh, within one session I racked up, like, 13 derails. Uh, it's safe to say I'm pretty happy with these results. Oh, yes. Believe me. I know. Very famous last words. I think we're fine. Oh, it says goat tries to this goat tries to uh even the odds of derail counter oh no i don't want to do that on that shield there we go look at that majestic deer it's kind of hanging out there oh yeah that's a thing uh so like there's a compendium so like there's uh entries for Every living creature, every weapon, every, like, recovery item, whatnot. Ooh, uh, fairy. Let's, uh, sneak up on, on the fairy. So, uh, the Sheikah clothing actually helps us make less noise so we can sneak up on stuff like wildlife or on enemies. Um... And if we're trying to catch critters like fairies and stuff like that, uh, it's very helpful. That and I just really like the Sheikah clothing. I think it's very cool. I always used to think about what it would be like to have a Zelda game based around a version of Link that was raised up in the Sheikah tribe. And just like, you play as a ninja, basically. Um, I don't know. I would like that. That, that would be cool. Ah, uh, like an amuse all tuckered out. That shrine should be right over here. Ah, uh, spooked him. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, no, my roommate and I were, uh, we talked about that kind of Zelda idea for a while, and we were talking about, uh, you know, you can make a really interesting story, too. Like, what if, um, Ganon was this, uh, he was, like, this roaming warrior guy, or, or Ganondorf, rather, um, and, like, he and Link were actually friends, and then, like, after Ganondorf turns evil and, uh, you know, everything like that, like, there's actually some emotional conflict there. Like, come on, Nintendo. Is it too much to ask for you to try to write me an interesting story with the characters? Of, of your series. Oh, wait, wait, not where I want to be. All right. 
Nice. <laughs> the most demonic Korok in existence. <laughs> Let's take that and like take his little Korok laugh and just take it down a few decibels. Not decibels, but like pitches, yeah. Yeah, no, oh man, there's ideas, there, there's places you could take the Zelda series, but unfortunately Nintendo seems to have this weird policy of keeping things as basic as possible when it comes to plot, uh, which I, I've never really been behind. I, I don't care much for that mentality, but it is what it is. Yeah, Fire Emblem Fates. I, I've heard that um, Revelation, it was like the third of the uh, stories where it kind of combines uh, the two families together. Um, I've heard that was good. Uh, but um, otherwise, yeah, the uh, storytelling left something to be desired. And then, yeah, Other M is a very famous example. I, uh, I, wait a minute. I mostly blame, like, the one guy that co-created the series. I forget what his name was. Um, but he was the one that was mostly responsible for the way Samus was written in that game and stuff. Like, I've said it a, a lot of times, but, uh, Team Ninja was not to blame for the way Other M turned out. They actually did their job about as well as you could hope. Have at thee, brethren. Ah, oh, that was too soon. Oh, really? I, I heard Revelations was like the saving grace of the whole game. I don't know. I, 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 again, I haven't played it, so I, I wouldn't really know. Ah, there we go. Got him. Alright, then, I uh, and like, I have... Revelations, uh, but I've yet to complete, what was it, Conquest? Uh, as I finished Birthright, but I haven't played through Conquest, and um, I've heard that you want to do that before you play Revelations, otherwise a lot of stuff isn't going to make sense. But, like, I, I've got so, much, so many other things that I'd, I'd rather play, you know? You know what? I don't have time for this. Um, let's open that up. See what there is to see. Oh no, wait, hold up. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, shame. <laughs> I have brought so much. Oh, is that? Ah, oh, that's a derail. I almost forgot about the rules that we created for this, because apparently. Death is not just for seeing the game over screen, it's apparently falling into the abyss as well. So. Did the D-Rail kind of work? Here, let me try that again. Ah, it's being finicky right now. I'll fix it later. Uh. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, that's all the uh, spirit orbs that we needed to get for this particular part. Uh, but we should at least, uh, exchange it for a new heart container. And 
I know I said I was going to try to avoid doing a ton of teleporting, but, um... Honestly, I think all things considered, now's as good a time as I need to do it. I am going to want to be heading towards this location again. Um... Soon. Not immediately, but soon. That's probably going to be the first thing we do in the next session. But, uh... I think for now I'm just gonna uh, try to beef up my health a little bit. Also, why isn't my death counter working? I'm sorry, derail counter. Why isn't my derail counter working? This is unacceptable. Why do you even download this app? It's ridiculous. Oh, well, whatever. As again, I'll figure it out later. It's not a big deal right now. Just imagine that that 21 is a 22. Man, this place looks so good. Like, ancient ruins are one of my favorite aesthetic things. Whoop, there goes that. I knew it was gonna be soon. I was actually kind of surprised it lasted as long as it did. And now that's badly damaged. Cool. Because apparently everything in this game is... Oh, yo! Oh, that's so awesome. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dragon. Oh, wait. Hold up. Very majestic creatures. There are three of them throughout the land of Hyrule. Two of them that, you know, we might see just out in our normal adventures. One of them, we're gonna have to go find at, at some point or another. But I, I love the, uh, I want to say it's kind of like a Chinese depiction of the dragons. It's definitely much more Eastern than the way we, uh, uh, we portray dragons in America. Actually, like, in, uh, the new Godzilla movie, I think one of my favorite inclusions was when they were talking about, um, dragons are very different in Eastern mythology than they are in, uh, Western, where, uh... In Western mythology, so many of the stories are about slaying dragons. Um, whereas in Eastern mythology, they're seen as much more divine creatures, uh, sometimes worshipped or, or at least like lived with peacefully. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping in, Trail. It was it was great to see you. But yeah, I do think uh, I'm going to be wrapping up the stream here. Also, this lightning is freaking me out because it is just, it is getting real close. Okay, so these sparks here show you um, that if you're holding this particular weapon, uh, it could attract lightning. Um, this one makes sense. Um... So, like, if you're caught in the middle... Oh, hey! You know what? Alright, then. Yeah, let me just use this torch. Alright, come here. Get out of here with that. Nobody wants you. Yeah, yeah, we are going to be wrapping things up. Uh, that's, again, the Bethesda conference should be starting up in roughly 10 minutes or so. So I'm thinking that tonight is probably going to be a good place to cap this. Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping in. In the next session, we're going to be trying to go reclaim one of our memories so we can get the... Uh... Oh my gosh, the lightning! <laughs> so we can go get the tunic from Impa. I'm going to log off before this storm absolutely obliterates me. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. See you next mission.